Hi everyone, welcome to my Kiko Makeup Meleno High Pigment Eyeshadow Clicks Palette video. This is the palette that I've bought and as you can see there's an applicator in there and a nice mirror. So the shades I've bought were shade number 11 on the end which is Pearly Marsala and in the middle I've got shade number 4 which is Metallic Vintage Rose and on the end I've got Shade number three, which is Satin Peach. I'll put some swatches in the video for you as we go along. So each of the shades that you choose from the Kiko Makeup Milano website, the high pigment wet and dry shades that are compatible with the empty palette, come in little eyeshadow boxes like this. They're tiny little palettes and they open and close with the same magnetic closure system as the palette itself. Uh, so what you have to do to get the eyeshadows from these little boxes into the palette is you have to take a paper clip and insert the end of the paper clip into the hole on the back of this little box. You have to turn it a couple of times and when you feel or hear the eyeshadow moving around then it's time to take the eyeshadow out and put it into the empty palette. These eyeshadows separately cost $5.90 and the empty palette costs around $4.90. This is the packaging for the eyeshadows so that's what they look like. And there's, it's quite good because there's a window so you can see each of the colours. This is the original box for the palette. Uh, and so, as usual, like with everything else on the Kiko website, it comes all really nicely boxed up. And so basically, when you need to take the eyeshadows out of the palette, or if you want a change of colour from the selection that you've bought or something. Or if you just want to save one eyeshadow for another time. Then what you have to do is you have to use the paper clip again. Put it in the hole and do the same turning thing with the paper clip. To get the eyeshadow back out again. And you just place it into its individual palette if that's what you want to do but I'm thinking of keeping the eyeshadows in the palette seeing as they're there and because I think that's the most um, orderly thing to do really so basically uh, these eyeshadow palettes are quite good because they're stackable so if you do decide to buy another one they can actually be stacked on top of one another so that you can keep your eyeshadows neatly and there are instructions on the Kiko website like I say but I'll put all the information down below in the video description like this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching the swatches are coming now so look out for them and I'll see you again soon. Bye.